Hello, everybody. Well, it's Friday, our fifth and final day with Jordi Stringfellow of Jordi & Co. Events. Jordi, this has been an amazing week. You've been such a, a tremendous inspiration uh, for our, our holiday celebrations. Great fun for me. Thanks for having me. <laughs> sure. So today we're going to do New Year's Eve for two. For two. And I know that you are, you, you specialize in, in large as well as, as smaller scale events, but but how often do you do you do an event for two people? Surprisingly, uh, every once in a while. Okay. I get that I have the good fortune of doing it, and it's very, very special. I just want to, since my last day to address your yeah. audience, yeah. encourage everybody, entertain at home, open up your homes. Yeah. I love doing big events. Yeah. It's great and yeah. there's you know a lot to be said for it yeah. but there's nothing like entertaining at home and here you know we've taken a very small mm -hmm. intimate library setting mm -hmm. um, as our inspiration for the perfect location for a dinner for two why because yeah. you have a beautiful polished table mm -hmm. you don't have to cover the whole thing it already looks pretty mm -hmm. and then we decided we would have a little bit of fun with time and clocks because yeah. New yep. Year's Eve, is it midnight yet? Yes. So idea. all the clocks are set at midnight, mm -hmm. except for one I couldn't get to work. <laughs> Everything's set at midnight, except for that one. <laughs> and everything else is geared toward just that little bit of an intimate champagne and caviar mm -hmm. for, as we said earlier, Jim Deere and Darling. Yes. Yes. And uh, because Jim Deere, of course, needs his napkin ring to be his new watch. Very nice. And Darling needed a new pearl bracelet. So, <laughs> Which um, they bought for each other. I'm sure they right? did, yeah. and without any organization whatsoever yeah. in It's not like she went to the, to the jewelry store and bought for both of them. That's right. <laughs> Maybe she told Santa, and she got it oh, at yes. Christmas, and then they used it here. I'm not entirely clear. Good old Santa. Yeah. yeah. But we combined very inexpensive elements of New Year's Eve, the yeah. standard horns and noisemakers, mm -hmm. with, again, supermarket roses. If yeah. you know how to present them, mm -hmm. it can all be beautiful. Some really pretty little pieces that we're imagining will hold our little condiments for caviar. Yeah. And a silver box there with a napkin in it for your toast points. Things you might otherwise find in your library or elsewhere in the house yeah. brought in here for your... Midnight yep. snack. I love how, you know, akin to what we were talking about with um, with Christmas breakfast yesterday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> making these, these um, what could be an everyday sort of situation, a dinner for two, mm -hmm. breakfast, something that's just typically pretty casual, making yeah. it extra special by by adding these extra special touches, getting out your, your special dinnerware mm -hmm. and, and crystal and things like that. No, this is the time. Why, why not Why not during the holidays particularly right. use these, these items that you've been collecting? Right. And for the people you love. Yes. I mean, use them. Yeah. The worst thing that can happen is you get a small chip. You get a small chip, but you've used it. You've used it. You've loved it. You've experienced it. I hate the idea of beautiful things hidden away in a cupboard yeah. and no one ever sees them. Yeah. These were given to me by a dear friend mm -hmm. that they belong to his mother, the beautiful Tiffany blue plate. Mm -hmm. But I put it on top of a, a, a lacquer charger you can buy anywhere. You mm -hmm. can get these at Target. You can get them anywhere. These, yes, these are Waterford. That is Baccarat. This is Baccarat. Why? Because we've received these beautiful gifts over the years. Yeah. We want to be able to uh, enjoy them and I want to show your viewers yeah. how easy it is to enjoy them. But can you do it just as easily with a two dollar champagne flute? Mm -hmm. On sale after the holidays? Yeah. Of course you can. Sometimes of course you, you can. Get gifts for And their, do it. Yeah. Yes. For their weddings or on their registries, and, and then they, they go up on a shelf and they never get used Exactly. To. I like your exactly. point about don't worry about getting a chip in something because if you have little kids or something, you might tend to not want to right. bring out the china, but that's when you're going to make the memories is when you're using. So it's, it's music, good to use it. music, music to my ears because yeah. if the children. I think if they're brought up using nice things, yeah. they'll have more of an opportunity to think about it when they're growing yeah. up and how to do it. And, and they'll learn how to use it when, when you're telling them. Yes, yes, this. please don't beat on this yeah. with a stick or anything, but I mean, you know, but, but enjoy it and let yeah. them see that you enjoy using it. I don't want ever to, to come along behind them. I have said, be careful. Yeah. My children yeah. would 
hold me to the <laughs> truth that I have said, be careful, that's crystal. Oh, we're not handcuffing but, you know, them, we're letting them play around. we still use yes. them even after you. There are places you can take them to get <laughs> yeah. those chips uh, taken care of. But again, this looks from a distance like a very expensive piece. And if yes. I had this up on a wall in a big installation for a party, yeah. um, you know, it probably would, you know, register very, you know, expensively. Yeah. And again, you can get these lots of places now. Yeah. Yeah. And it's up on a riser. Again, the same thing we were talking about with Hanukkah that, earlier yes. in the week. Yeah. You know, not Great everything problems. on one level on yes. the table. Bring things up. I even raised the um, the lamp. Um, things that you might not register as having been adjusted have been adjusted so that now just where you're dining, it's flat where it's nice and safe. Yeah. And, and that's sweet. nice to mention. Mm -hmm. I think so. One thing we were talking about earlier, I just want to point out to our viewers, is we were talking about using supermarket flowers mm -hmm. and, and making them just as beautiful um, within our, our decor. What is your tip for, for using these flowers? Because they, not everybody knows what to do. Right, and I didn't either until I was doing this, uh, you know, playing yeah. around with it before I was doing it for a living and yeah. now that I do it for a living. Yeah. For me, the key is to cut the roses to the top of the vase. Okay. Because if you don't have a huge amount of talent or confidence yeah. for arranging something large, yeah. then don't stick them in with stems hoping somehow that will arrange itself into something beautiful. Yeah. Because really it's just gonna look like a lot of stems. And showing a lot of the stems before the- Correct. Yeah. And so for me, the easiest thing is just to build it this way, one at a time going around in a circle, but cut to fit the vase. Mm -hmm. And you'd never know. I mean, look, I love wonderful florists and mm -hmm. I hire them for clients all the time mm -hmm. when we need them. Yeah. But there is no reason you can't produce something like this nicely at home too. And what was your suggestion about um, using the greens that can come with, with flowers as well? Yeah, if, they're, if they add to it, use them. Mm -hmm. If it looks better like this, yeah. edit. It's gorgeous. Leave it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leave it out. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and, and sometimes they're also not the best quality or in the best shape. Yeah, so take off some of the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, take it's, away the little added bits. Yeah, added The bits. filler, they call that, yeah. I think. The filler <laughs> that they put in there. Mm -hmm. Well, Jordi, this has been a great week. Thank you so much for all of your tips. Thanks and for having me. Interiors. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, I, love you. your, uh, <laughs> I love your approach. I think everybody should pay attention to how they entertain and yeah. who they entertain for. And it's just been a pleasure to be with you. Great. Thank you. And our viewers can learn more about you and all of your services at jordianco.com. They sure right? can. Okay. We'd love to see you there. Okay. okay. Well, thank you so much. And thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Happy holidays.